In these examples, we're asked to add fractions that have the same denominator. Both A and B, each set of fractions, have the same denominator. We can look at the first fraction here, 5 twelfths, as 5 copies of 1 twelfth and the second fraction as two copies of 1 twelfth. That would give us a total of seven copies of 1 twelfth, which is seven twelfths. So you can look at fraction addition more formally as saying, well, you have to have the common denominator to add two fractions and then you add the numerators. But this idea of copies of one over the denominator might help you remember when you need a common denominator and when you don't. If you look at the second one, 3 eighths plus 7 eighths, that's 3 copies of 1 eighth plus 7 copies of 1 eighth is 10 copies of 1 eighth or 10 eighths. We're going to need to reduce that using the method of finding common factors. So I'm going to write the numerator as 2 times 5, the denominator as 2 times 4, and then remove common factor of 2, leaving me with 5 over 4. I'm also going to write that as a mixed number. 4 goes into 5 one time with 1 fourth left over. So these are the final results here. And You'll need to read. There's nothing here that really tells us to choose between a mixed number or improper fraction, so I'm going to leave both of these. You'll need to read the directions in whatever problem that you're working with and see what form is required.